Hello everyone, I'm Eric Shamoris and welcome to Human Resource Machine. This game is a puzzle game, but it's sort of like a programming related puzzle game, which should be, which is right up my alley. I shouldn't say should be, I've already played this like a decent amount on like, on my save file I'm over like two thirds of the way through the game, so, but it, because I work as a programmer, so it's like right in my wheelhouse. It's like exactly. I'm just gonna. I didn't realize. I forgot about that. Yeah. So I 21 years, which is 21 levels. So yeah, I've played a decent amount of this. I'll start at the beginning, because basically I just want to. I'll be this guy. Sure. I I because I just want to more show off the game obviously I'm not gonna do a full playthrough if I already beaten 21 levels uh, actually I don't even know if I've beaten 21 levels I've beaten amount of levels welcome to your first day you look like an excellent instruction follower your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment remember you could always ask me for help and then you could ask him for help yeah great I don't care I did not want to ask you for help I just I, I didn't mean to click basically you just take these commands right now for the first level you just have inbox and outbox and this tells you what you need to do the program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it in the outbox so do the inbox which will grab the four as you can see obviously it doesn't work because I didn't finish and then you can step back and debug and actually like step through it's actually step through the program to see what happens at each step as you doing it but I need three things because each one to speed up. Basically, just grab the one from the inbox, grab, the, put it in the outbox, grab the one from the inbox, put it in the outbox, and just repeat until done. Well, not repeat and repeat three times. But this is actually more like uh, machine language, which for anyone that isn't a programmer and has no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, great, great. Great, I have a bright future in inbox outbox management. Oh, now we get jumps, which basically causes a loop. So basically I can do inbox outbox, then jump, which once it hits that, it'll go back to this point in the program and then redo the inbox outbox. And it'll just keep repeating until all of the, all of the uh, inputs of uh, 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 gone. That's the word. Basically like, uh, this is more like machine language, which uh, for anyone that doesn't know what machine language is, basically it's uh, basically it's sort of like what other programming languages are made out of, like C Sharp, Java, all of them. They basically are at their core made up of a bunch of commands, like just grabbing input and adding and jumping and stuff which it could be like 30 40 commands but then when you get to a language like C sharp or something one that's actually used to program you know games and other stuff it's only takes you like three lines of code it, it basically machine language is basically way more difficult I had a class in machine language when I was in uh oh god inbox where system is completely broken but that doesn't mean we can't take a break from work or we get to take whatever but basically the what was I saying the oh yeah the machine like I took a class on it in college and I mean we didn't do anything as complicated as some of the things get in this game but it's kind of weird because you're it seems like you're doing a lot more work to do less than you would do with like a you know an actual programming language but it, it's also kind of necessary because you can't really have those better programming languages without machine language and stuff like this. Basically, did I, sp I spit on my screen? Basically, this one, I need to, I don't want you to tell me more, but basically I need to get the letters B, U, G into the outbox. Well, I don't need to jump because I don't really need to repeat anything. What I need to do is copy from... I need to copy the B, then put it out box. Copy the U, out box. Copy the G, out box. And go. 
Yeah. Yeah, the early ones really aren't that hard. It's once you get to the later ones, and for some reason, me, I, I'll show you some of the ones that I've already done. Uh, for some reason, I always seem to end up with, like, programs with, like, seven jumps. So it's like, oh, it goes through this part, but then it jumps here, and then it goes down, and then if it's zero, it jumps down here, and then it just keeps, like, jumping everywhere. And, yeah, they don't always, uh... Turn out good. The conveyor system is fixed. Awesome. And just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate, collate itself. Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. So basically, obviously I need to get the first thing in the inbox. And what you need to do then is copy it to a placeholder. Which in this case I'll copy it to zero. Then I can get the next one from the inbox, which then needs to be put in the outbox because it's the for every two things. So one and eight, I need to put in eight and then one. So then, basically, the yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know why I like suddenly got confused. So I'll copy the one to the floor, then put the eight in the outbox, and then I need to get the one back from the floor and put that in the outbox and since it's basically going to be the same process for every set of two like i'm going to reverse these two then reverse these two then reverse these two all i have to do is then jump to the beginning and repeat the process speed it up a little bit yeah put the eight in put the one in then copy the w to the floor put the i in put the w back in copy the two to the floor put the five in put the two back in and I say a lot of this is machine language. Some of this stuff is our programming concepts that you would have to do in, uh, that you would have to do in other programming languages. But a lot of the things are like a lot more basic and, you know, it'd be like one line of code in an, a, a, a Back to work, everyone. <laughs> it'd be like one line of code in an actual programming language. It's one thing I do not understand about this game. Like, that is a recurring theme. The news reports about just random things, like, random bad things happening in the city. Like, every every time you get to one of these, almost. And, uh, how many levels are there? There's, like, there's an amount. There's only, there's only, like, 40 levels or so. Actually, it might be, like, 30. No, it's definitely more than 30. There's, like, 40 levels. But to be fair... Uh, once you get to the later levels, like, it still takes a while, because once you get to the later levels, uh, they get much more difficult. I'll do one more. I'll do the rainy summer, and then I'll go to my other save file and do some of the other programs that I have. I was never very good at math, since I have only three fingers on each hand. But I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. Okay. So basically, for e every two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. Now I got add, which adds something in one of the placeholder tiles to whatever I'm holding. So basically, I have to do almost the same thing, except instead of outputting the second one, I need to add it, then output it, and then I can just ignore what's on the floor. I don't need to output two things. So basically, I just need to do inbox, copy that to the floor again, uh, then get the second one, add it to the floor, and then outbox that. And then just repeat. So 2 plus 2 is 4. That goes out. 4 plus 0 is 4. That goes out. Negative 6 plus 9 is 3. That goes out. 9 plus negative 5 is 4. There was a lot of 4s there. I don't think there were supposed to be a lot of 4s there. Actually, that was way too easy. So, uh... I'm going to, I'll do one of these, because these are like challenge levels, that's why they're on their own separate path, they're supposed to be a lot harder. <coughs> Most of them involve just adding, in in, in this case, the, those ones add just involve adding, so. I'm late, seven years late, for what? We need to make some changes around here, I want to see a 100% performance increase, At this point on your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. 
for each thing in the inbox, triple it, and then outbox the result. So basically, easy way to do this, basically to triple something, you just add it together three times. So all I need to do is inbox, copy to the floor, and then I'll still be holding it because I'm copying it. I just need to add it twice. And then outbox and repeat. So I'll put the six on the floor, add six to it, add another six to it, 18. And uh, yeah, we're good. Should be. And ideally, what I would do, later on you get a jump if zero, so that if whatever you're holding is zero, you'll skip it. So ideally, what I, or you would uh, jump to a different part of the program. Ideally, what you do is, well, maybe not ideally. For something like this, it's not really a big deal, but you could put a jump, jump if zero after the input to just jump right to the output so that you don't do any of the adding because zero plus zero plus zero is always going to be zero. Uh, okay, now I'm going to go back to my other. Music is great. What the, this guy, this guy's jamming. This guy, whoa, whoa, that is dangerous. You are hanging way too far out that window. That is, get, get back inside. Get back inside, go to work. Anyway, which one do I want to do? As you can see, I've gotten almost to the end of the game. Ah, so I'm at 23, that's 22, 24, 26, 28, 25. Actually, no, that's uh, 24, 27. So there's like 40 levels. There's like 40 levels. Or like 35 levels and a bunch of, a few cutscenes. But uh, this is, like, I am getting, especially like this one, the Fibonacci Visitor, I'll tr show that one at some point. Let's do the last one that I've actually done perfect. Because you get rated on how many steps you do and how many commands you have. It does keep it. Now, <laughs> like I mentioned, I, went, I go a little crazy with the jumps. So basically this one. If the number's negative, I need to remove the negative sign. Which, so basically what I do, if it's inbox, what I'll do is put it in outbox, like I'll do, go to here, jump if negative. If it's not negative, it'll jump, do the outbox. Simple enough. If it's negative, I copy it to the floor and then subtract it twice. Reason I do that is because if you have like, for example, negative four, negative four minus negative four is zero and if you subtract a negative again the minus and the negative sign cancel out so you're adding a positive so zero minus negative four is four so basically if you subtract twice so one it'll just jump to the outbox negative seven it'll copy it to the floor you'll subtract it and then subtract it again to get the regular seven This is like the last one that was relatively easy. Uh, I mean, a few it was easy to figure out, but not easy to uh, get the goals. And so, a lot of them it says, you know, you might not be able to get the step goal and the command goal in the same one. I don't remember this if this is one of them. Because I think there's one where I had, I got like the steps and then had to do a completely different solution for the for the uh, yeah, eight commands, the speed. This is one, I don't remember, cause, cause like what you can do, you can have multiple things. I didn't realize that until later. Uh, I don't remember how I did this quicker. Like I don't remember how I did this like better. Did I do a jump of zero? No, cause the jump of negative would hand, I genuinely don't remember. And you have comments. So you do that and like, woo, woo, which uh, I probably should do on most of my things. Uh, let's do 21 because that's the last one I successfully did. Zero terminates. <laughs> oh God, this one. I remember this one. Uh, you could add, also add the labels to these at 
after a while. Oh, no, that's the sum. That's the sum. Oh, that, that actually changes. Awesome. Basically, for this one, for every string of numbers, you need to uh, add them together. Once you get to the zero, that's the end of the string of numbers. Then you just put it to the outbox. Uh, so basically what I do, I copy from five to copy to the sum. That's what I start with, so that the sum starts at zero. Grab the grab the one from the inbox, jump at zero. If it's zero, then that's the end, so I need to take the sum and put it in the outbox. If it's not zero, I add it to the, I add what's in the sum and then put that down on the floor, go back to the next inbox one. So, you know, put the zero on the floor. Three. Add the three. There we go. Seven. Add the three. It's ten. Put that on the floor. Pick up the zero. Oh! It's a zero, so I gotta copy it and put it in an outbox. And then replace it with zero, so it resets the sum. And basically, the entire thing does that. And if it's a zero, it just puts it in zero. And it basically does the whole thing correctly. The issue is... I did it with the size. Like, I have the right number of commands. Speed, I'm 20 steps over. And I think part of it has to do with the copying the zero into the sum. Like, I should do that after the inbox or something like that. Uh, because you notice, like, if I pick up the zero, I have to grab the next one. But that's kind of necessary. I don't know. I'm think I'm I'm just thinking out loud right now. Like I genuinely don't know how to make it faster. Even with more commands, I don't know how to make it faster and more efficient. Huh. It's a good one. Let's do one that I haven't done. Uh I don't think I've actually tried this one because I've been trying to figure out this one and that one's just a bitch. Like I genuinely could not figure that one out. To reduce our carbon footprint Oh, I might have tried this one. Management is requesting the smallest numbers only. This is a public relations exercise. The results are going straight to the landfill. Okay. For each zero terminated string in the inbox, send the outbox only the smallest number you've seen in that string. You will never be given an empty string. Reset and repeat for each string. So, basically, again, zero means that's the end of the string of numbers. But the never being given an empty string is key. Because that means that... That means that... It'll never be zero and followed by a zero. Like, it'll always be a number. Uh, so, how the hell do I do this? Because, like, in other programming languages, like, high-level programming languages, like, C-sharp, Java, JavaScript, any of those, you have greater than, less than, equal to, you could just do all that stuff. I don't have any of that. So, basically, so, okay, so, if I put the three, like, if I take it, copy it to the floor... See, I don't have a zero, so I can't really... Oh, uh, and I can't... Because I don't think I can add what's on the floor. Like, I don't think it handles that. No, okay, great. Add zero. Because I think it'll yell at me and say, Yeah, I can't add an empty tile. What I'll do, I'll start by copying... By taking the inbox and copying to that. I think that's my problem. Like, every anytime I have a jump at the end, I always do it to the beginning of the program. I could have these right at the beginning and not have to jump until, like, later on. So what I'll do, that's what I'll do. I'll put all of my code in here. Inbox copy two. Great. Now, I would take the inbox. If it's zero, I'll take what's on the floor. and output it because what I'm going to assume is that the floor is the smallest item because I'll copy this there
Yeah, okay. Actually, first, I'll copy it to, to one. No. Damn it. Actually, no, because I will need to. I'll need to do that every time. I'll need to do that thing every time. So that needs to be up front because I need to get the first number of the sequence, no matter what. So I'll copy to there. If it's zero, copy it from there. Outbox it. Great. That's good. That's fresh. That's funky. That's magical. Uh, if it's not zero, because I want to jump past the jump. If it's not zero, then I'll jump and get the next input. Now what that should do, it should copy that to the floor. It'll always take the first input at this point. It'll skip until zero. Then I'll just take three, put it out, and I'll get an error because it, that it expected the two. Okay, but I got it pulling out all the inputs. So basically what I need to do. Fuck. Uh, no, I know what I need to do. I need to copy that then to one. So this is min. This is the lowest. That's gonna be... I need to put the lowest in there. This is gonna be current. So this is whatever number I am currently dealing with. That is an awful E. I am going to re... Uh, good enough. But that's gonna be whatever number I'm currently dealing with. So I want to put it there so I have the number. Then subtract min. And then if it's negative. Well, because if I subtract the min, like if I have one in my hands, min is five. If I subtract, if I have one and subtract five, it'll be a negative four. So if it's negative jump I'm gonna need another jump here god damn it so if it's negative jump to here past the first jump which will then copy from current this is gonna be so inefficient gonna copy from current and then copy to min it'll basically take whatever I'm currently hold whatever I currently have put it in the min Right? That should work. That's just, that's just how I program in general. It's like, just type a bunch of code and it's like, that should work. Let's test it. Uh, so, let's see. If I put the 5 down, it'll copy them in. It'll inbox it. Hold on, hold on. I want to I wanna step through this. So, I get the inbox. Get the 11. It's not 0, so it'll copy to the current. Subtract 5. It's not negative, so it'll jump. Then it'll go back to the inbox. Jump of zero, it's not zero. It'll copy to the current. It'll subtract. It's negative, so it'll copy from the current. Copy to the min. Then it'll go for the inbox. Jump of zero it is zero. So it'll copy from min and outbox it. Then it'll jump, grab the next input, and just copy it right away. So that should work. We'll grab the 14. It'll copy it. It's negative, so it'll copy the 14 there. 6, negative, so it'll copy the 6 there. 3, negative, so it'll copy the 3 there. We're doing it! Okay, that's not lower. That is its negative. That should be its negative. And then the next one's negative. It's not going to be even remotely efficient, but... There's only three strings. Oh, cool. Whew! I have one extra command. And way more steps. Shit. Uh, so. Uh. I kind of, I want to see, like, where is there... Is there an area where I can get rid of one of these commands? Probably one of the jumps. Sub. I don't need bump at all. Bump just basically takes an 
item on the floor and either adds one or subtracts one to it. I don't need that. If I copy to current, subtract min. Is there an easier way to do it than copying from? I could add. I could just add min, you know, un undo that. In which case I wouldn't need to copy two. Because if I subtract it, it's negative. I just need to re-add it and then put it back on. Just slap it back in the tile. That should work, right? Five. Eleven. It's six, so that's good. One. It's negative four, so just re-add it. Okay, so I got the commands one then. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't need the current at all. I didn't need to store that a one bit. That's where that's where this game it just sometimes it's just so confusing because like things like that, like I probably could have sat here for like five minutes and not figured out. Like I, I'm just lucky that I happened to think about that because I could have. There have been ones where I've sat for like five ten minutes and not. Oh, that increased the speed too. Awesome. But there have been times when I sat here for like five minutes like, I don't see how to improve this. I don't see how to make this better. This is as good as I can make it. Awesome! I did a new one and did it perfectly. Now I can either have cumulative countdown, I'll do the Fibonacci one. A Fibonacci sequence is like a string of numbers I don't remember for the life of me. What the Fibonacci sequence means. I've heard of it before. Just be looking at here. Through the catalogs for Golden Spiral. I don't know what you're talking about. That that might be a reference to Fibonacci. Okay. For each thing in the inbox. Send to the outbox the full Fibonacci sequence. Up to that value. Uh, I think I can get rid of these. I think I put those there, so... I assume I put those there. So basically, for 20, I would need to put in... One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. Twenty-one's too much, so I wouldn't need to put that there. What's a Fibonacci sequence? I Jin, what's a Fibonacci sequence? Each number in the sequence is the sum of the two numbers just before it. Okay. So first two numbers are one and one. Third number is 1 plus 1 plus 2. Fourth number is 1 plus 2, so... Number is 2 plus 3. Okay. So basically... Okay. Okay. So, I need to store... How the frick am I gonna do this? So, if this is... The first value. This is the second value. This is the sum. I don't need those. No, because... Crap. No, okay, so what I'll do, first I need to copy from zero, copy to there, copy to there, let's make this big, fat, that's ugly, zero, copy from zero, copy to one, copy to two, then you need to bump one and bump two. That'll get me the first two numbers. That'll get me the one and one. I know you wanted more multiple items. Shut up. Okay. God. This is... I'm so... Uh, let, me, let me talk this out. Okay. So this is gonna be the number. I see why I had number one and two then. That is ugly. No, go away. I, I do not want to see you exist. There we go. That's better. 
So, take the inbox. Copy it to number. So then I'll have the five there. I'll have the one and one in the one and two spots. Now, what I need to do, do I need to account for less than, like, is the number always going to be positive and more than, I can't assume that, because if it's negative, then I don't want to do anything. Shit. I'll add, ugh. So basically, copy it there. First, I need to check whether one is more than the number. So I'll use my subtraction again. So, inbox, copy to there. Copy from one. Then, I would subtract that. If it's negative, Then I would add. No, if it's negative, then I would just jump back. If it's not negative, I'd copy from one. Actually, no, I don't need that. I need to bump one and then. I, ju I just saw, because bump, you copy what's on the floor. So I would just need to do that. Because I would copy it to there. Bump it to one, and then I would have a one in my hand. Okay, we're good. Get back to the matter at hand. Copy from one. Again, and output it twice, because I have one and one. Now the loop starts. Now I gotta actually loop. So this is where I'm going to loop. There'll be a jump if negative to there. Okay, so now what I need to do, I need to copy from, wait, the one I have in my hand after I do, because I'll output, I'll, out, outputs, what? When I outbox it, I'll have the sum in my hand. Shit. Uh, how am I doing this? Basically, because whatever's in one and two, I need to add. So if I copy from one, add two, copy to sum, subtract number, that's when the jump if negative happens. If it's not, copy from sum, outbox it then what I need to do is make sure that the two moves to the one and that some moves to the two if that made any sense add two sub that add number do what I did with the other one outbox it then I'll copy it to sum. No, not to one. Sum. Copy from two. Copy to one. Copy from sum. Copy to two. There's got to be a much better way to do this, but I think this will work. Oh, wait. First, I need to outbox that. I need to outbox that first. Then I'm jumping... Yes. Wait, I already have two in my hand, so I should copy, I should get rid of this, and then instead add one. That got rid of one. Let's do this. I think it'll work, but I don't think it's gonna be efficient. Copy from zero. Add that there, bump it. Copy there, I got the one and one. 
Copy that to number. Then I need the one. Subtract that. Zero. Oh, shit. I forgot. Damn it. Uh, the number. Did it backwards, because if if it's less than, then it won't be negative. But there's no jump if positive. So what I could do, I could jump if negative, and then have a jump that loops back. Oh, this is awful. I'm, I'm, there's probably a much, much, much better way to do that. But it'll work. So if it's negative... Okay, let's see if that works. Like, it, it's one of those, it's like, I'm a programmer. I do that as my job. This game makes me feel stupid. Sometimes. <laughs> like, I genuinely... You can't outbox, outbox with... Oh! Because it outboxes it. It doesn't copy what's in your hands. It just puts out a completely new thing, so I just need, I just need to re-add that. Yeah, there we go. Wouldn't this be easier if I bump that one first? Just bump it up to one. I don't need a zero. Then copy from that. Hold on, is there a control Z? Is there an undo? I don't think that actually made it any better. Bump not. No, because it's still three commands no matter what. No matter what I do, it's still three commands, except because I have to copy from and then copy to both. Shit. I'll keep that. That's better. What did I do? And I undid something that I needed. Copy from nine, copy did that. No, I was right! Son of a bitch. Uh, I didn't want to get rid of that one. Copy to one, copy from zero. Start by bumping that. Yeah. And if I move that, down to the bottom. No, I can't. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Stop trying to improve my code and just make it actually work. Oh, uh, 21. Copy from that. Subtract. It's negative, so copy. Outbox. Copy. I wanted to copy from... I just wanted to get through the ones, and then get to the actual loop. Like, I haven't even gotten to the actual loop yet. Okay, so add one. Fuck! Because, again, I assume that outboxing would keep it. Shit. Okay, so... Outbox it. Outboxing it doesn't keep it in your hands. Ugh! So what was I doing? See, now the thing is, I didn't use any of these. I didn't use any comments to say what I was doing. So now I gotta decipher my own code. It's only been like five minutes, but I'm still deciphering my own code. So copying that, outboxing it. Then I need to copy... from one... What I'll do, I'll copy from two. There. Then it'll add one sub outbox. I'm outboxing the sum. So I want to copy it to sum, copy from two. I want to copy to sum first, then outbox. 
then do all the copy stuff. And then I should still have that in my hands. God damn it. Like, this gets so difficult. Like, like none of them have taken me this long. Until this one. Like, even the last level I did, I thought, oh, well, it's a later level. It's going to be much harder. And that was actually not that bad. So add those. That is negative, so there. Add that to sum. Outbox it. Then I copy from two. Copy to one. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, that is actually exactly what I wanted to do. I'm doing the whole Fibonacci sequence. Then the numbers are two and three. Which will bring me five. The number's 21, so that should go to the... That should go to 21. Because 21 was in the Fibonacci sequence, was it not? I can't scroll up. 13. Add. I think I did it. Shit. 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 So wait. Oh, I'm jumping if negative. I need to jump if negative or zero. Son of a bitch. Ugh. See, there's got, there's, now I'm definitely sure there's got to be a much, 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 much simpler way to do this. Because there's, let's get back there. Seven. five that'll be eight that'll do that it's not negative or zero so it'll go restart everything 21 we've been through this already it should be two three five eight 13 now it won't jump if negative but it will jump if zero and actually that's gonna work but the jump if zero I could jump down here if it's zero. Or jump if zero. I could do stuff in here, because basically all I'll need- I don't need to do any of the copy stuff then. I just need to... Add number, or actually even just copy from number, outbox it, and then jump back to the top. I have so many freaking jump statements. Holy shit. And this one, if it's zero, can I just like copy and paste these? Uh, if it's zero, copy from one, add two of those, outbox both of them. That's probably the, I, I'm going for steps. I'm not going for number of uh, commands because I think I uh, failed that. I have 37, holy crap, 37 and I'm pretty sure like half of them are jump statements, but let's do this again. Eight's in the sequence, so we'll see whether this works. So, that'll be eight. It'll subtract. It's zero, so it'll just copy and put in the outbox and then jump to the next one. Okay. So, we don't need to watch this again. We don't need to watch that in slow motion. Holy crap. Woo! Uh, night <laughs> holy sh there's no way I did it in 130 steps so I beat I demolished the speed challenge size uh not so much I think it's partially because I'm using like four placeholders and like 17 jump twos so God 
I don't even know where to go with that one. Okay. So, I'm not going to do any more of these because it's a puzzle game. Part of me really doesn't want to do, like, all of them on screen, obviously, because, you know, want you guys to be able to go and play it and finish it yourself. Uh, I don't remember how much this game is. It's on Steam. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, there's only, like I said before, there's only 40 levels, but, or, like, 35 levels, but once you get to toward the end, like, you saw how long it took me just to do that one. Like, I couldn't imagine getting up to these ones and even into the greens. Like, I haven't even reached the greens yet, and holy crap. Prime Factory? I'm assuming that has to do with outputting prime numbers, and that's, that's gotta be awful. Alphabetizer? That's... Some of these just sound awful, but anyway, I'm going to end this video here. So thanks for watching. See you next time.